Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the left front surface burner valve in your gas range, be sure to unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply. Shut off the gas supply as well. Open the oven door and use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the control panel's lower cover. Remove the cover. Pull off the five control knobs. Next, unthread the two screws securing the control panel to the frame. Detach the control panel. Then disconnect the display board wire connector and the touchpad ribbon connector to fully release the panel. Use a 9 16th inch wrench to unthread the nuts securing the main gas supply tube to the burner valve. Use a half inch wrench to unthread the nut to release the simmer gas supply tube from the valve. To access both valve clamping bracket screws, you'll need to partially uninstall the manifold. To do this, use the half inch wrench to unthread the remaining gas supply tubes from the burner valves. Use an adjustable wrench to help unthread the nuts securing the main gas supply line to the manifold. Now unthread the two mounting screws to release the manifold. Slide off the gasket and spark switch from the left front burner valve. Unthread the two screws to detach the clamping bracket and you can remove the old burner valve. Install the new surface burner valve by aligning it on the manifold. Then position the clamping bracket and thread the screws to secure. Align the spark switch and snap it into place on the valve. Slide the gasket onto the valve stem. Realign the manifold on the front brackets so the valves align with the gas supply tubes, then secure the manifold with the mounting screws. Reconnect the main gas supply line to the manifold and thread the nut to secure. Be careful not to damage the line by over-tightening the nut. Connect the rest of the gas supply tubes to the appropriate valves. Again, avoid over-tightening the nuts. Reinstall the control panel by first connecting the wire connector to the display board and the ribbon connector to the touch pad. Realign the control panel on the front brackets.
secure it with the screws. Replace the lower cover. Then thread the screws to secure. Realign the control knobs on the valve stems and push them into place. Note that the power burner control knob should be placed on the second stem from the left. Turn the gas supply back on and plug the power cord back in or restore the power supply. It's a good idea to make sure the flame height is properly adjusted after installing a new burner valve. You can do this on any of the valves by setting the burner to low, then remove the control knob and secure the burner valve stem with a pair of pliers. Using a 1 8 inch non-flared flathead screwdriver, rotate the adjustment screw inside the stem clockwise to decrease the flame height, and counterclockwise to increase the height of the flame. With the flame properly adjusted, the gas range should be ready for use.